Hi guys, it's Kaz and today I have my March book haul. Now I do have quite a lot of books to show you today, mainly because I had to buy a lot of books for my university gothic literature course. So that's going to be taking up a big portion of this haul. I also have a couple of books for review and I also have three which I bought. So I'm going to start out with those ones. The first one I bought is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This is one of my favourite books of the year and I received an ARC copy of this one and because I loved it so much, I, I love this cover as well, I decided to get myself a finished copy. It is just so, so pretty, the hardcover. I couldn't, I couldn't not get it. This is about a boy and a girl who meet atop the school bell tower and one of them talks the other one out of jumping off. This is just an absolutely beautiful story. I loved it so much. I did do a full review on this one, so if you're interested in that, I will leave a link to it down below. The next book I got is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Now, I do have two copies of this book because I received this one in the Owl Crate. Basically, this is the March slash April read-along pick for the Little Book Club. And since I'm going to be reading in the next couple of months, I obviously picked it up. This is a fantasy book in which there is the ability to travel between parallel worlds and one of the main characters is a traveller and he's able to go between these different versions of London. Some have magic, some don't. And I believe the other main character is a pirate and that was actually the theme for this read along. So I'm so excited to dive into this one. The last book that I picked up was kind of on a whim. I saw a tweet about a bunch of books that were being sold uh, that were signed. I think it was through a Polycon. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe so. So I went onto the site and had a look and saw what books were available and I ended up choosing one book and that is In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. This is the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. I've read the first one. I'm not sure. I don't think I own the second one but this is the only one that was available I think. I can't remember. But it is personally signed to me so that makes it super super special and I'm very very excited to have this one in my collection. Next I have a couple of books that I was sent for review. First of which the lovely people of Penguin Australia sent me Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I actually don't know what this book is about but I have heard some quite positive things about it I'm pretty sure. From what I can tell this seems to be getting pretty good reception so hoping I can jump into this one sometime soon. We'll have to see but yeah Thank you so much Penguin for sending this one my way. And the next book I was sent is from For Pity's Sake, an Australian publisher. And at this point it's quite tentative what is going to be happening, but I'm going to be starting up some kind of affiliation or partnership with the publisher. When things are more set in stone, I'll probably update you guys on that. But the book that they sent me to have a look at first is Above the Fold by Peter Yeldon. This is about Luke and Claudia who have fallen in love during the Second World War. And I believe that Luke is an aspiring journalist, but obviously at this time things are a little bit hectic but I think with the conclusion of the war he finds his big break in his career and I think some things are keeping him from Australia and Claudia and things like that so I'm very very excited to read this one I do love books that are set during world wars I don't know I just I'm always intrigued by them and I always end up really enjoying them so I'm looking forward to getting into this one hopefully sometime pretty soon we'll have to see with my uni reading schedule it's up the wazoo. But this one is high on my TBR pile. Speaking about my uni reading list, these are all the books that I have to read this semester. Hooray! It is quite exciting but it's very stressful because as I mentioned in one of my other videos, <laughs> I'm not that great with deadlines. So reading these books has proved quite challenging. But I guess I'll just jump into what books that I will be reading this semester or have already read or started. Uh, the first one is The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. I think this one is about a private investigator who is hired to investigate <laughs> some blackmail. Nothing overly dramatic but just some petty blackmail but I think it ends up that the private investigator's work is really cut out for him and he's got a lot more on his plate than he thought he would. I really like this cover as well. I so cool. I also have The Monk by Matthew Lewis and this is about a monk who kind of finds himself on this path to destruction. He breaks his vows and from there things just kind of spiral out of control. This one I'm supposed to have already read but I didn't manage to finish it before I was supposed to. I told you deadlines and me are not friends. So that's a bit unfortunate but hopefully I can finish this one during my mid-semester break which is coming up I think next week. Fingers crossed. 
I also have Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. This one is about Lucy Graham who accepts Sir Michael Audley's hand in marriage but I think she's quite a mysterious character. Some people are, are a bit suspicious about her. She seems to be hiding a few things and this is one that I'm currently reading and at this point things are starting to pick up and I'm really liking this one so far. So definitely looking forward to finishing this one. Hopefully I can do it very very soon because obviously I have a deadline for this one as well. Next I have Jamie Make it in by Daphne du Maurier. I'm not entirely sure what this one is about but what I can gather is that it's about a woman named Mary and her dying mother sends her to Jamaica Inn where her aunt lives or something like that but apart from that I'm not sure what else happens so I guess I'll find out when I get to it. I also have The Turn of the Screw by Henry James, not Jenry Hames. Henry James. Again, I don't really know much about this one. The back doesn't actually summarize the story, but the other contents that are included in the Norton Critical Edition. But I think it's about a woman whose first job at a governess is at this particular estate that is haunted. So it's not like this one could be pretty awesome. I also have Dracula by Bram Stoker. I think most of you are pretty aware of what this one is about. One of the most influential stories regarding vampires. I have previously already studied this one back in high school. I don't know if I ended up finishing it or not. Not entirely sure, but hopefully I can get around to finishing this one in time. I also have The Hound of the Baskervilles and The Adventure of the Speckled Band by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I'm going to be studying The Hound of the Baskervilles, but The Adventure of the Speckled Band I actually did look at last year in one of my other courses. And in The Hound of the Baskervilles, Sherlock Holmes is sent to investigate the mysterious death of Sir Charles Baskerville and where his body is found. I think there are the footprints of some huge hounds gigantic hounds. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And the last book that I have is The Selected Works of Edgar Allan Poe. There were six short stories in this one that I was supposed to have read. One of them I have read. The other ones I did not get around to reading, unfortunately. The week in which I was supposed to have read this one was a week in which I was moving into my new place. So I didn't actually have much free time to do anything really so unfortunately I didn't get around to reading this one but again my mid-semester break is coming up so hopefully able to catch up during that period but yes that is my massive March book haul oh for some reason I did forget to mention one book I don't know it was located somewhere weird <laughs> just past my mind. Um, I also have Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This one is about a woman who is invited to stay at Northanger Abbey and there she becomes quite suspicious of the people living there and the house itself and what has gone down in the past there but she's not sure if that's because the people there are quite evil or if it's just her figment of her imagination because she is quite obsessed with gothic literature. Anyway this is one that I have finished and I will go into a little bit of detail in my wrap-up about what I thought about this book. But yes, that is my massive March book haul. Thank you, University, for adding a huge pile of books to my DBR. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about any of the books that I have mentioned today. If any of you guys have read A Darker Shade of Magic or are planning on reading A Darker Shade of Magic, I'll also leave a link down below to the discussion threads in the Little Book Club Goodreads group. I will be doing a live show at the beginning of May, and I should hopefully be announcing that sometime soon. Um, but yes, that is all that I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.